and then they installed a 692 Detroit in it with a three-speed auxiliary back there. We went to school every day in a different Dodge. So. Nice. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? Welcome to the channel, everybody. Dane Scott's Trucker's Lounge. I'm going to do something a little different for you today. I figured uh, I'd put out a video. I've been kind of holding off. Kind of. I have been holding off, actually. Um... I've been wanting to do a episode on Dodges, and I have two cool Dodges that have popped up in uh, my travels over the last few months, and uh, I was kind of holding off to get a cab over, and the L1000 Dodge cab overs are very rare, so if you know anybody that's got one, or you're someone that has one um, that's relatively near to uh, northeastern Ohio. I'm up on the lake, Sharpest Point in Ohio, they call it, right at the PA line. But, uh, you know, I would travel a couple hours um, to film one, a couple, three hours. So I think that's uh, rewarding. And uh, they're rare enough, and, and they are so unique and so cool. But in the meantime, I wanted to share uh, a very cool bighorn that... Uh, uh, a guy named JP from, uh, I believe he's West, West Virginia, uh, showed up at the uh, Dying Breed Diesels family reunion show uh, beginning of the month in October here. And uh, so I featured that one and got to talk to JP about that truck. And I'm also going to include some earlier footage that I took when I did the Cracker Box issue. And it, there was a yellow... Dodge and those aren't called big horns. They got another designation. I'll have to look at that um, They had several different series uh, down even gas engines and this this one it's got a Detroit or at least uh, Bob Parmenter who had the orange cracker box that you saw uh, He put a Detroit in it. of course Bob was a Detroit mechanic and uh, He did that I believe for 50 years got an award from Antique Truck Historical Society on that, and we put that in that video. So check out that video. Very cool with both cracker boxes. And, uh, of course, some of you may know, I recently purchased a cracker box myself, and I expect this week to be getting delivery of that. So a lot of cool stuff coming up. In the meantime, I want to show you a couple cool dodges today. So enjoy your Sunday. Sit back and relax. Get a cup of coffee. And here we go. Okay, so Bob, tell me a little bit about this Dodge we're going to look at here. Well, I understand this was a U.S. Navy airport fuel truck, originally. And it had a 7,000 gallon tanker on it. It had a little uh, 555 Cummins in it with a 4-speed Allison. Somehow, I don't know, it got to our fire department over in Ellsworth. And it just wasn't very dependable. And didn't have enough power really to run around the right. country. So my neighbor ended up buying it. I sold the engine for him and the transmission. And then I installed a 692 Detroit in it with a three speed auxiliary back there. Okay. I've had it running, I've been on the road a little bit, but it needs a few more, a little bit more done to it. And what year is this? This is 73. 73. It's got 17,000 miles on it. Holy cow. Love the rubber. Well, it's probably the original rubber, and it's probably hard as a rock. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a triple frame. Let's look how long it is. Yeah. It's, it's got very little rust, just a floor panel needs to be fixed on it. Right. And it stole the lights, as you can see, when they got rid of it. Well, hey, you'll have that. Yeah, that's normal. Looks like the Hornets like it, too. Oh, well, they got to have a home. Right? That's right. Or maybe they just enjoy vintage trucks. Well, there's a 
thought too. But actually, uh, it was quite a truck in its day, I guess. Yeah, it looks like it. Probably only ran around the airport fueling planes. Yeah. That's probably all it ever did. Yeah, so uh, from one of the bases nearby or Wright Patterson uh, or somewhere? That. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah. But I did see a picture years ago. It was up in North Dakota. There was 10 of these sitting up there in the airport. Oh, yeah. These things are getting scarce, too. You're right. I really like those... Uh, there's another one there. That's that looks like what a gas job maybe. Gas job, yeah. And the fellow says, "I want that truck. I want that truck. Well, come and get it." Yeah. He has a show. All kinds of goodies. Um. Yeah, the uh, the Dodge. I think they call them a one thousand C one thousand or whatever yeah, series. The be cab an eight over. Or nine or a thousand. Okay. Depending on what equipment it was. They had a cab over that I just love. Just that's just that, like a square box. One thousand. Yeah. yeah. I worked on some of them. Everybody like having a GM Cracker box. Welcome to the channel. It's Dane Scott from Dane Scott's Truckers Lounge. Got a special treat for you today. Nice uh, Dodge Bighorn, I believe these are called. And special guy, JT, right here, JT. owns this bad yes, boy. JP. <laughs> there you go. I keep getting that wrong. I apologize. <laughs> Not a problem at all. So, so tell me about your, uh, your Dodge here. That's 1975. I just acquired it. I've always wanted one, even as a kid, not knowing how rare they were yeah. until about 25 years ago. And realized at that point in time, I probably would never acquire one. Right, but right. A few months ago, one came up on Facebook, and I jumped on it. Is that on Marketplace? Yes, <laughs> I found it. Yes, absolutely. They, they know what we like, and they keep popping the know, trucks popping up, you know? Up. Yeah, they found my profile, I guess. Yeah. So. They said, we know. But yeah, it was an Ohio truck. It was a gross lumber truck. They had a whole fleet of them. Wow. So... What year again? Was it 1975? 75. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what are you running for a motor? I, it's got a Cummins in it, 13 speed. 13 speed Cummins. All right. How'd she drive up here? I know you had to drive a few hours. Not bad at all. I got new tires on it the other day. We actually had a valve step to a bed, so we had to go to the tire shop this morning. Oh jeez. Yeah. Well, it's minor, I guess, as as things go with the old trucks. These are so unique. That's that's why I like them. I like anything unique. You know what I really like too is their cab overs. I think they called them what a C1000 or something 1000. Yeah, it's an L. L. Yes. The old boxy Dodge oh, cab overs. Those are so nice. But this one's in good shape. I mean, it's got it's got some little personality. There's some things going on with the body, but all in all, it represents itself well. And I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Yeah. No, I wouldn't change a thing. That's that's what's to me. Yeah. That's what it's about. Leaving them. I like them as, as original as possible. So. Yep, I agree. And I know this one came from somebody else, and they did it in their fleet colors. But to me, it's fine. It's Americana, you know. Americana. A day gone by. So is this your first truck, or have you had? No, others? I have quite a few in my collection. Oh, okay. So this okay. is gonna be the last one for a while. So. <laughs> yeah, that's what we all say, right? Yeah, well, my best friend from across the yard growing up, his dad had the Dodge dealership in town, so uh, we went to school every day in a different Dodge. So nice. I have a collection of pickup trucks, and of course, my modern daily driver is a Ram, but I've always wanted one of these. I've had some other C-Series in the past, and I have quite a few Macs in the collection, so... Now, is this considered a big horn? This, yes, this yeah, it is a big horn. Yeah. She's a beaut. I sure appreciate your sharing Thank you it very with much. us. Yes, it's nice meeting you. It's Dane Scott. Hope you enjoyed that.